Oh my God, you guys will be so proud of me. I think it's exactly eight o'clock. <laughs> I'm not late. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Body Talk Friday. Woo, Body Talk Friday, we've made it through another week. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to connect with all of you. As you jump on, please tell me hi in the comments. If you're on uh, for the replay, tell me replay so I know you're here. It means a lot to me that you're here. I'm so honored that you guys show up to do my little gig with me. I just got off my walk. Juniper is here already. Juniper, you're the first one. Ding, 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 ding. Um, yes, 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 yes. I just got off my walk. I had my water. I lifted my eight pound weight today while I walked for about 30 minutes, maybe more like 25 minutes. And I uh, made my celery juice. Here it is. It's great to have it after a workout. It completely hydrates you. Uh, so I'm just feeling very together today. <laughs> I'm feeling very together. So how are you, Juniper? How are you doing? I'm trying to get my lipstick out of here. It's my, hmm, probably not so good, but it's Burt's Bees cherry color. I love it. I figure it's pretty healthy. I don't use it that much. So how are you, Juniper? What's new? How was your week? How was your intention for the week? What was your intention for the week? How did that turn out for you? So I'm gonna take a couple sips of my celery juice. Body Talk Friday. This is the day that we tune in. And I gotta see, do I have anything else on my calendar at nine this morning? No, that moved to 6.30 tonight. Okay, so, um, yes, Body Talk Friday. I'm going to be doing some readings this morning. Pretty good. It's a beautiful day. Yes, yes, yes. Remind me where you live, Juniper. Giselle, girlfriend. Philippines is in the house. Woo! So Juniper, remind me uh, where you are in the world. And um, let's see. Body Talk Friday is when we tune into our Cleveland. Oh, okay. Cleveland, Ohio. Beautiful. It's when we tune into our body. We turn, tune into our uh, 50 plus trillion cells. I see Daphne's here early and Hope's here. Yeah, you guys are all under the five minute mark. Rike from Brazil. Woo! It's like old home week with Rike here. Just a heads up Rike does not understand a word I'm saying. <laughs> he knows no English and he just shows up for the energy that we all create here together. Do you understand that? Just want you guys to know. I know, Giselle, and I saw that you um, reacted to one of my videos. I'm like, oh, Giselle is cycling back around again. I love it. I love it. Buenos dias, Rike. Um, okay, so it's when we tune into our own bodies. We tune back into our bodies. What the hell have you been trying to tell me with the aches, with the pains? If you have no aches and pains... What do you want me to eat more of? How do you want me to support you more? Would you like me to exercise more? Would you like me to lift weights like Lorraine does? <laughs> I mean, I don't lift, lift much. It's an eight pound or a 10 pound. I did 10 pounds yesterday. So I just took it in with, um, I, I lowered it a little bit today because I didn't want to stress. Tamaria, so good to see you. Darcy, TGIF, happy Friday, Lorraine. Yes, Giselle, been busy with work and lots of things happen, I bet. I bet. So shout out to Giselle and all her friends who are in the healthcare field. Ooh, so we tune in. Body, what do you want us to eat more of? What do you want us to drink more of? What do you want us to do to support you? How do you need us to support you? And also I'm going to be doing readings today. If you want a reading on you know, anything in your life or something in your body that's hurting, um, I can tune in. 
uh, for that with you and see what I get and see if it resonates with you. I'm usually pretty spot on. Um, not me, it's just that I'm open to hearing. Um, Juniper, I'm getting better at stopping myself when I start to go down the road of room. Oh, that is fabulous, fabulous, fabulous news, Juniper. That mind loop is such a fuck. It is <laughs> such a fuck. And I'm so proud of you for doing that. Hello, I would love a reading. Okay, Tamaria, lovely. I'll be doing that in a few minutes. So, you know, hang around kind of more towards the end and be uh, be thinking what you would like a reading on specifically. That helps you, whoops. That helps me to, one of my patches just fell off because I'm sweating. Um, you know what? There's a, there's a patch called Carnosine that actually builds muscle, helps your muscle build. When uh, you get to my age, sometimes it can be that your muscle deteriorates. Rosetta, good morning! that your muscle deteriorates. So carnosine has been helping me build muscle. Isn't that awesome? Now, I don't know if that's gonna stay there. So I'm gonna put it maybe here where I'm not so sweaty. No, I'm pretty sweaty there too. <laughs> Finding a spot. Uh, yeah, it's probably gonna be great. So good to see you all piling on. I'm honored that you're here to play with me. Um, so I'm gonna go back and turn the light on. Um, be thinking if you want a reading, what you would like a reading on. That helps me to, to hone it in and, uh, you know, kind of like go into one particular thing and I'll catch up on the comments. Jennifer, Juniper, la, 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 la. Jennifer, Juniper, la, 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 la. La 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 Ugh. Anyway, sorry. I'm glad you're back. That's what I want to say. Oh, you know what? Hang on. I'll be right back. I'm going to turn off low power mode so it's not so dark. Okay, hang on a second. I'll be right back. Don't go away. Much better. Much better. Okay, what did I miss? Giselle, I hope I can get some support here. It will help us a lot. Okay, great. June for working on my new painting of my legendary self. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it. Giselle, I've been busy practicing a TikTok dance for the competition. Good girl, honey. I love your dancing. Okay, uh, and Dawn is here. Dawn, I think, is new to our little gathering here. Can everybody welcome Dawn? Okay, so we're going to start breathing and uh, grounding to Mother Earth and asking Mother Earth, what she requires of us today, what she requires of us today. And don't be worried that it's gonna be, oh my God, I gotta go out and be have a life on the ocean and pick up all the plastic. It's like, no, it's something very, very, here's how we serve Mother Earth, by being full of ourselves and being confident and being up and being happy. <laughs> it's always her message. So we're gonna, serve, we're gonna, and then you're gonna put it in the comments because it's gonna bless everybody. What is Mother Earth saying? What Mother Earth, we just, Love you, we love you, we love you. What do you require of us today, Mother Earth? We, we love you. Thank you for welcoming. Can I send you a link in the messenger so you share and get a like? You know what? Uh, I don't know how to get you back on. Can you, uh, let's see, I'm trying to think of another way. Are you in our hacks group? Are you in your great big life? Um, can you put it in one of those groups for us? And then I will definitely do that, Giselle. So hacks for anxiety and depression. I'm not, I don't think you joined, but go to Your Great Big Life and post it for me there. Make a post for me in Your Great Big Life Facebook group, okay? And then tag me so I'm sure that I see it. You're in Your Great Big Life though, I think. Hey, Kathy, good morning. Or can you post on my business page? 
I don't know if you can. Show up at the next live stream once you get it and drop it in here, okay? And I, I don't know if sometimes I don't get it. It's gotta be some way. Ooh. You can email me, Lorraine at LorrainePurcell.com. That would work. I see Donna in Scotland. So we have Brazil, Philippines, Scotland. The Aussies haven't shown up yet. They might be snoozing. My sister must be sleeping. <laughs> She's usually here at 5 a.m. She's usually the first one on at 5 a.m. Okay, so in and out of our heart. We're breathing in and out of our heart. We're breathing in and out of our heart. <sighs> Longer exhale than inhale. I want to check in. How did you do? Karen, I see you. How did you do with your intention this week? Mine was to... Uh, get closer to the divine, and I certainly, certainly, certainly did. That was that was really wonderful. Um, so what was your intention for the week, and how did you do with it? And also, what was your highlight of the week? Good morning. We had a power outage since last night. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> okay, so and how did you do with your intention, and what was your highlight of the week? What was my highlight? I, first thing that comes to my mind is being here with you guys. That was really fun. Um, making it through a couple of crises without flipping out. That was good. I'm real proud of myself. So drop it in the comments. Juniper, Mother Earth supported support me to be balanced, healthy, and at ease. Daphne, good morning. Yes, 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 yes. She really does. Once we ground to Mother Earth, we actually, I feel her support all day long. So here's the thing. When we connect to Mother Earth and we go in the counterclockwise spin to go through her, oh, that's what's missing too. Hang on. I was wondering why it was so dark. Mm. <laughs> um... We go the counterclockwise spin through a body of the white, gold, and pink light, and then we send this out to the planet. <clears throat> Those three energies are still running. Mother Earth, the body, out to the planet. All that peace and joy and blessing is continuing to run. That's the beauty of doing this every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, because you get your energy high and clear, and then on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, the energy is still running while you continue to do the work or tap into the replays if you need to. I listen to them, uh, not as an ego trip, but because the energy, sometimes the energy here is exactly what I need to calm me down and to remind myself of who I am. That's why we show up here, to remember who we are as goddesses and priests of the new whatever this is we're going through. Oh, and uh, Sunday is the new moon, and it's supposed to be a really powerful one. Uh, Juniper mentioned it last week. So we are going to do a new moon, um, whatever, ceremony on Monday, which means what the way we do it here is we just write down everything that we want to bring in on a card, and then we or a piece of paper, and then we plant it in a garden, or we, um, or if you don't have an, a, a garden, like you live in an apartment, you can put it between a plant and its saucer and then water the plant. I did that plenty. Okay, catching up here. Um, Kathy, no intentions, but my highlight was being in a recording studio yesterday. You are fucking rocking it, Kathy. Yeah, I remember I was blocked on your messenger. Yeah, and you remember why? Because that a highlight of my week was spending time with my two sisters and bonding with them. I'm really clear on my boundaries, you guys. Um, yeah. Because I have to be so that I can be who I am. I can't let, I can't let things in that I've said I can't. So... Okay, yeah, that's amazing, Kathy. Amazing, amazing. Karen, my intention was to eat better, and I did. My highlight was seeing grandchildren in my pool playing and having fun. That's amazing, Karen. Okay, 
So, is it raining now? It's raining. I got, I got my walk in. When I was on my walk, it wasn't raining, but it was thundering and it was so exciting. Okay, breathing in through our heart. And then exhale, longer than our inhale. As we send down a grounding cord to Mother Earth, just imagine a root or a rope um, going down off the bottoms of your feet, off your tailbone, off your pelvic floor, and uh, going down, 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 down into the middle of Mother Earth. And just see your heart intercepting with the Schumann waves of the heartbeat of Mother Earth that your heart is beating in time with the Schumann waves. Ooh, down, 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 down. And what's Mother Earth's message to you? Oh, she's just so grateful that we do this at least three times a week because Mother Earth is pretty ignored, would you agree? My highlight was spending time with my love and my dog. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking, uh, you know, I'm not hearing from my sister as much because she kind of got back together with an old boyfriend. Man, they take so much time. Juniper, reading please regarding raising my vibration. Okay, so um, remind me when I get to the readings, okay, Juniper? Oh, Mother Earth, what is your message to me? Love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. I just see a picture today of like a, a pine or a cedar tree going up. So I don't know how to put that into words. Wow, look, I'm getting some definition in my arms. So going up, that's what I see. I just see like a, like a fir tree. So what could that be? I don't know. I don't know how to put that into words. I'm just seeing that. What rise is what she's saying. Mother Earth. Mother Earth. Rise. Be tall. Mm. Be tall. And Juniper, you've already started raising your vibration by hanging out here. Already, you're seeing results. Um, you said you're stopping the ruminating. It's huge. Huge, 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 huge. And who else said they wanted a reading? Was that Tamaria? So be thinking what you want it on. So what do you require of us today? So when we are full of ourselves and when we are feeling very confident, that's how we're serving Mother Earth. That is how we're serving Mother Earth. Do you get that? That is how we're serving Mother Earth. Okay, Giselle. So you can go ahead and email it to me. I want to see it and I want to vote for you. All right. So once you've gotten your message from Mother Earth and you've tethered there, the connection is still there. Let's come up to the bottom of our body and we're going to do a thorough counterclockwise spin of white, gold, and pink light or whatever color resonates with you. Sometimes I see purple, sometimes I see violet, sometimes I see turquoise. I'm gonna draw a card two from Rebecca Campbell's, well, I don't know that this is her new deck, it's just new to me. Oh, do you guys hear the rain? Can you guys see it? Can you see the rain behind me? So cool. <laughs> Hope, gonna say rise to, rise above, in spite of, yes, 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 darling. So I'm gonna do a reading, so hang on. I mean, yeah, card reading. I'm going to pull a card from Rebecca Campbell's, I'm going to say new, new deck. My new deck of Rebecca Campbell. All right. 
Ah. OMG, I love the rain. I do too. Can you guys see it falling back there? So cool. The most amazing trees in South Carolina. Ooh, so we're coming up through our feet and we're carrying the energy. It's very important. It's counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. It means it's not going in the direction of the world. It's going in the direction of your inner soul, your inner calling. All the way up, all the way up. All the, see every one of your 50 plus trillion cells as smiley emojis. Every one of your cells is getting everything that it needs and everything that is not serving your body is getting kicked out by the centrifugal force of this counterclockwise spin. All the way up, all the way up, all the way up. All the way up, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. And be tuning into your body. What is your body wanting more of from you? And what is your body wanting less of from you? Tune in, tune in, tune in. Tune into your body. Pay attention as you're coming up through I'm gonna pay attention to something here. Hmm. I'm hearing more vitamin C. I'm gonna write it down. So I'm keeping my commitment to myself. This is one of the things we talked about yesterday in the Women's Self Love Journey program was keeping our promises to ourselves. So when you make a commitment like Karen did to eat better, and she did, that's keeping your promise to yourself. And the more we keep our promises to ourselves, the more aligned we get with ourselves and the more majestic we get, the more confident we get, the more we're having our own back. It makes a huge difference. More vitamin C. So I wrote it down on a card. I'm gonna put it in my kitchen uh, and so I need to get apples, but I know that. Okay. So I, then I, it's there to remind me, I can't avoid it. Our body loves us so much. We need to support it any way we can. Georgia. Okay. Australia's in the house now. Woo. Good morning, Georgia. I mean, good, good night. Good evening. It's about 1030 there. Okay, so let's go up through the chakras, your energy centers. What's your first chakra saying to you? Once you get, once you get um, a message from your first chakra, you can write it in your journal, your journal. We always bring your journal and some water or beverage. Who is joining me with the, with the celery juice? I had my celery juice on a heavy metal detox smoothie after this, and then I'm gonna have apples. I just found out this morning that's a very important part of the morning cleanse. Kathy, Mother Earth, just dance. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. My creativity chakra, just saying lay low. Create beauty every minute of every day. So I'm writing the messages. Root was relax. Um, creativity was create beauty. Whew, kind of like everyday little things. Um, solar plexus. Know your power. I 
Actually, I'm going to put it in the notes. Solar. Know your power. Ow. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Also says, don't be afraid of the swirl. Hope, two miles, is that mile? Two mile cycles in one month has me feeling blah. Oh, oh, don't quite understand. Maybe going into the change, yeah. I'm too young yet. Tiredness, it sounds like it. Hope we should talk about the patches. It will help a lot. Who wants their stem cells to age younger? <laughs> I've got the secret, if anybody wants to know. Yeah, that's that sounds like the change, Hope. Okay. Heart chakra, stay open. Yes, ma'am. Throat chakra. I'm getting uh, know your voice, but it's more like whether I say it or not, just at least know inside of myself what it is that is going on inside of me. So know my voice, whether it doesn't mean speak up all the time, it just means know what's going on inside of me. Okay, and then my third eye, stay connected. So I'm gonna put in throat chakra, know my voice. And um, what's this called? Crown? Well, first I'm gonna do third eye. Third eye is stay connected. And crown. Let it flow through. You guys know when we feel that flutter in our stomach, that is just something that needs to be hugged back in. Okay, that's a little bit of fear coming up or uh, maybe you're nervous. Remember, um, Fritz Perl says that fear is excitement without the breath. So whenever we feel that fear, let's just, Breathe through it. Denise is here in Australia too. Huh, okay, that's not crow, it's crown. Oh well. Did I miss anybody? I think we're good. All right, Denise. It was a great conversation with you yesterday in Women's Self Love Journey, Denise. Okay, so this energy is still spinning in our bodies, cleaning. So let's just tune into our bodies. What does your body want you to eat more of? And what does it want you to eat less of? Go ahead and drop it in the comments if you'd like. What does your body want you to eat more of and eat less of? My body wants me to eat more lettuce, but my mouth does not want it. So I'm in a quandary. For some reason right now, I'm not wanting leafy greens. 
but I know I need to. Tamaria, drink more water, eat less sugar. Yeah, I have eliminated all sugar, you guys, all sugar. I just eat raw honey and a lot of it to quail my, my sugar craving. We need sugar. You just don't want sugar. Raw organic sugar or um, organic, I'm sorry, forget it, that's not right. Raw, raw wild honey, you can have as much of that as you want. Or organic maple syrup is fine. Organic from the tree. Uh, Georgia, Mother Earth Saint, eat well. So I have just, I, I go through so much honey, you would not believe it. Donna, uh, Denise, let's talk about the new moon. Stay out of chaos and stay centered. Energy's intense leading up. Good time to manifest and be present. Stay positive. Thank you, Denise. We have another expert here. Um, okay, so stay out of chaos. There has been some chaos lately. <laughs> <coughs> so yes, 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 yes. So what does your want, body want you to eat more of, eat less of, drink more of, drink less of? My body would like me to throw in an extra quart of water a day. Uh, what I do with my water is I put, I squeeze in a lemon or a half a lemon and um, I put in a teaspoon or a tablespoon of raw organic honey. That's what I drink in the morning when I first wake up. So right now I'm doing one in the morning, one throughout the day pretty much. It wants an extra quart of water. Yeah, so Denise and I talked about this at length yesterday in the Women's Self-Love Journey call. Those of you in the Women's Self-Love Journey, be sure and catch the replay. Uh, I posted it last night. Rizwana just got it onto YouTube. So um, it's in the Women's Self-Love Journey private Facebook group. Anybody who would like to join us in the Women's Self-Love Journey, uh, enrollment is open right now. Uh, go to womensselflovejourney.com, W-O-M-E-N-S-S-E-L-F-L-O-V-E-J-O-U-R-N-E-Y.com and check it out there. <laughs> yeah, Georgia, eat more vegetables, eat less ice cream, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I'm starting to feel in for the readings. Is there anything else we're feeling from our bodies? Put it in the comments. What is your body wanting you, wanting you to eat more of, eat less of, drink more of, drink less of? Does your body want you to move more? Here's why we go to the comfort foods like ice cream and cakes and cookies and chocolate and that kind of thing because it releases adrenaline and it it feeds our addiction to adrenaline. We're addicted to suffering, so we will run to these carbohydrates, these bad foods, these, I, I don't wanna say bad foods, these foods that do not support our system but take away from our system. When we, uh, when we eat those foods, it actually robs us. When we have caffeine, it actually robs our energy instead of giving us energy. I used to, I used to, own a Kona coffee farm. Okay, so I I am all of, I used to be all about coffee. That I'm not doing coffee now is huge. But it's the adrenaline. We are addicted to the adrenaline and adrenaline is poison. At present no meat. I'm craving everything vegetables. Oh, that's wonderful. Just remember a lot of fruit too, Denise. We need the brain needs glucose. The brain does not need fat. The brain needs glucose. And the best glucose is from fruits. So good, 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 good. Yeah, I, I had a filet mignon last week. It's, you know, it's a little like five ounce or a small one. Uh, and delicious, delicious. But I normally don't eat meat. But I will, I will go to that. Good job, Denise. Rosetta, I would like a reading. I have trouble digesting my food this week. Okay, um, what kind of food, Rosetta? That's the first question that came to my mind. What kind of food? 
Um, okay, so Tamaria, you wanted a reading. I need to know what specifically you want a reading on. And Juniper was, um, what was your what was your reading about? It's kind of right there, but I can't grab it. Um, so what I'm getting, Rosetta, about your digestion is that you're you're holding a lot of tension in your stomach. You've been going through a lot of changes lately. And so um, just put your hands on your stomach and your low intestines and just breathe in and out of there. Breathe in and out of there. And just breathe in relaxation and exhale the tension. You're holding tension in your stomach and in your um, and in your small intestines. Does that um, okay? Great, Juniper. Does that resonate with you, Rosetta? We don't go through life changes without it costing us something. You know, I mean, we might get to the point where it's less but it always, always, always affects our body because everything we go through is emotional and emotional rules the body. Okay, great, Rosetta. I'm glad that resonated. Um, okay, so how to raise your vibration. Definitely, definitely, definitely be here every single Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern. You know, be in a race with my sister to see if you're here first <laughs> at right at 8 a.m. when I turn on. Sometimes I, I'm a couple minutes late, but just you keep coming. You keep showing up. You keep showing up. And getting into this energy, the other thing is to watch the replays. Um, what I do when I am getting like rattled, I go to YouTube and I watch, I put in Abraham no ads and I just start watching Abraham. I start dousing myself with Abraham, Abraham, Abraham. I've, um, I, I'll find them on my computer and then I'll put my iPhone down on the computer and I will record them. So I've got them in my voice memos. I've got all night longs of Abraham so I can listen to them all night long while I'm listening, while I'm sleeping. So that's, that's my go-to. I'm getting to walk on the earth with no shoes also. Spend time there, hands on trees, touching leaves, touching plants and write music, write music. Does that resonate? <laughs> okay, great, let me just catch up. I got that to Mario, let me just, uh, okay, excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, so um, Juniper, does that make sense? Tamaria, I would like a reading on what my angels are telling me. I've been seeing them under music videos and on license plates a lot. Yes, okay. Uh, I see them almost every day. Yeah, yeah, that's, I'm getting that too. But. Not just that, because usually when we're writing songs, we're sitting on the couch with our feet on linoleum or, you know, fake floor. Um, so yes, okay. So do you have an angel? Here's the, here's the angel card book I recommend. I'm not sure it's in print anymore. I'm gonna go grab it for you guys. Here's the one I use because I love Doreen Virtue. She used to live in my town in Hawaii. And um, now she's not doing this work anymore, but you might still be able to get this on uh, Amazon used. Angel Numbers 101. This is the one I really recommend. This is the one I really recommend. And I also have a copy in my car. So Tamaria, while I'm driving, if I see a triple digit, like 777-333-444 or 123 or uh, yeah, any kind of succession of numbers, I look it up. And the one in my, uh, in my car is completely dog-eared, <laughs> but it's nice because I have it. So this is the, the angel number book that I really recommend. 
okay? Um, because I adore Doreen, even though she's on a different path now, but that's fine. Um, I have some theories about that that I won't go into right now. Uh, you're welcome, Tamaria. Um, yeah, so the more I have done the angel number work, whenever I see an angel number, it's usually keep your thoughts pure because you're in a high manifestation point right now. And if you dwell on negative, you could bring that in. So it's that and also that the angels and the archangels are completely surrounding you. So those are always my messages that I, that I, that I get from it. Denise, you can Google the numbers too. Yeah, okay, you can Google the numbers too. I've been procrastinating about getting back into the studio. Okay, so maybe this is the beginning of that opening up for you. Uh, Denise, I have relaxing baths, nice smelling candles, time with country and mother, writing, listening, and feel good clips. To feel good clips. Sometimes a movie to laugh, play like a child. That's beautiful, Denise. Okay, did I get everybody? Anybody else want a reading? What about something in your body? Is there anything in your body that you would like questions on? Why is my shoulder hurting? Why is this happening? You're welcome, Tamaria. See, I can't even remember what I told you now. <laughs> it's because it's not for me, okay? It didn't originate. Okay, here's the card. It was the last one. It was only one, and it just didn't come up with anything else. It's new moon. Forget the past at the moment. It's all about the moment and manifestation. Yes, I have a runny nose. That's, that's all, nothing serious. Okay, runny noses are... Um, something's bothering you it's like but like annoying you somebody or something is annoying you it's usually somebody so is there somebody in your life right now that who's annoying you it's like just this you know how the runny nose is like constant it's also it can be the inner child crying okay so tap into your inner child your inner little girl see if she has any needs Georgia, yes, please. I could, could I have a reason on reading on my stomach keeps always feeling not the best. Yeah, stop the ice cream. <laughs> um, eat pure. Stay away from processed foods. Um, your stomach really needs um, rescue, Georgia, is what I'm getting. Your stomach really needs rescue. Um, you're really young, but you've eaten a lot of junk. And so um, <clears throat> what I'm hearing and feeling is that you need to go back to fruits and vegetables, organic as much as possible. A lot of uh, steamed potatoes would be great without any oils on them, without any fat, without any butter. Just start to just enjoy the flavor of the vegetables and the fruits. Um, for sweetener, go to raw organic honey. Don't, nothing pasteurized. They'll say organic, but it won't be say raw. It must say raw. I actually drive 50 miles to get my honey in gallon jugs. And I go through like almost a quart of honey a week. Okay, that's a lot, right? So does that, does that make sense at all, Georgia? Um... Okay, Juniper, we need to talk about the patches. A lot of people have been helped with those symptoms through the patches. Somebody was uh, like incredibly healed through the, through the patches. Actually not healed, just helped. So message me if you'd like to know more. Uh, yes, okay, so Georgia, does that make sense to you? Stay away from junk food, stay away from breads. Stay away from processed foods. If you just got a pot and a steamer and you only bought vegetables and fruits and you steamed organic potatoes and you uh, steamed, like last night, 
I had organic pasta. No, I had cassava root pasta. It was delicious. And I put in a ton of uh, like maybe three or four tomatoes, organic tomatoes. I um, sliced up organic red onion and I put in, I squeezed in a lemon and I, I squeezed in like four cloves of garlic and I threw some broccoli flowerettes in with the water while the pasta was cooking. And then I pulled them out when they were done. And then I just, um, and I just mixed it together. It was unbelievable. It was so good, but there was no fat in it. See, fat is hard on the liver. And I'm on a big mission to completely restore my liver. That's why my skin is looking so good these days. So let me know how you do with that because that's what I'm getting for you because that will restore your digestive juices in your stomach um, and start to really bless your system. Um, okay, Juniper, so you got that. Message me, please. Rosetta, I'm also having trouble lifting my arms high lately when I'm doing things. I figure I just need to strengthen my arms and muscles maybe. Uh, Rosetta, which, which patches are you using? We're talking next Wednesday, I know, but oh, why can't I get this? Come on. But um, let's talk because that will really help. My aunt, my 90 year old aunt started using the patches and on her second day, the first day it, it didn't help. She's in San Francisco, so we have to FaceTime and she's not very tech savvy. So, you know, she didn't quite have it in the right places. So she has, she had one here and one here and then the X39 here. And she was, it, she could not lift her hand over her. And she, I saw her do this last night on a FaceTime and it didn't hurt. Okay. So which patches are you using, Rosetta? Karen, so I'm feeling a bit lost and down these days. I know, I felt it. I could feel it, Karen. Um, you are, this is for Karen, you are getting distracted with other people's bullshit. That's what I'm getting, hard and strong. You are getting distracted by other people's bullshit. And it's almost a, a strong admonition that I'm giving to you. Um, get back to yourself stop getting seduced by thinking that if you conform to other people they're going to love you that's bull fucking shit do you hear me it's bull fucking shit this goes for everybody if we get seduced by thinking if we just behave we're going to get people to love us that is becoming a prostitute to your soul do you understand me that is being a whore. You are whoring out your soul and compromising your life force energy to get people who you probably don't even want in your life anyway to like you. Because here is the truth. You will never, ever, ever please them. You must please yourself and come from this place and then if they're meant to be there, they will come to you. Whew. So that's what I got is going on with you, Karen. <laughs> and probably everybody else here, including me. I have to work on this all the time, you guys. So let me know what you're if you're hearing that um and it's it's understandable like this it happens to me if i just listen to one of you know uh the live streams of people that are in my camp because there's a lot going on now about you know conspiracy and all this kind of stuff and it just drains me out it drains me out i unsubscribed uh yesterday or Wednesday from two people that I have been really enjoying, but their energy was just draining me, so I unsubscribed. I don't want it in my inbox anymore. I'm very protective of what I put in my inbox, because it's coming in. 
our eyes, our ears, our body, who and what energies are we letting in? Does it feel good? No, get the fuck out. Get away. It's like we are very fragile. We have very fragile nervous systems, especially women have very fragile central nervous systems. We need to nurture it like a little baby by the foods we eat. Stay away from all processed foods by the music and the lyrics we're listening to, by the people we surround ourselves with. And if you know you're going into a toxic situation, protect yourself, put a shield around you so that none of that goes into you. It's very important. Karen, does that resonate? Uh, Georgia says, okay, yes, thanks, good. How do you come up with ideas like that? I don't. They come to me. These aren't originating from me. I'm channeling it. <laughs> uh, I'm just open and it comes in. That's why I always ask you guys, you know, does it resonate? Because it's not, you know, I'm all wise and all knowing. I am pretty wise and I know I'm knowing, but... Uh, it's just an impression that I get, and I, I'm so tuned into my intuition and my body, I can feel it. Like, uh, I was talking to somebody the other day. Oh, I think it was on this live stream, and someone was saying, I think it might have been Daphne, that something was hurting in her. My hand went right here. I'm like, okay, it's, it's your heart. It's right here. And she goes, yeah, that's exactly where it is. Or there was something. I don't remember what it was, but <clears throat> I've always had that gift since I was a little girl my hand will just go to where somebody's pain is. They didn't even tell me they were in pain. They're like, oh man, that feels so good. You're touching right there because I've had an ache there. I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, Denise, pumpkin seed and sweet potato are good for the arms and physio exercise. Okay, so there you got it. X39 EN SP6. Okay, so let's, let's, uh, let's, when we talk on Wednesday, if you want to talk earlier, Rosetta, I can. Let's get that handled, okay? Yes, Denise says, we've got to stay present to ourselves. I hear you loud and clear, uh, Karen says. Yes, 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 yes. One more question. Will I ever get justice for something that happened to me? You won't get justice. That's, that's a worthless cause, okay? Here's what you do with it. As long as you're in that energy, you will deplete your energy and you will get sick. What we need to do is fight for what we desire, not against anything. If we're fighting for justice, um, there's probably a lot of anger in there. I imagine it's something that happened to you personally and um, you need to release it because it's, it, it is something that happened to you that has made you who you are. This is... A lot of us here have had really hard things happen to us. We are coming out of a lot of trauma. And what we need to do is relax and let go of that because it is racking our nervous system every single time we remember the event. This is the work of Dr. Joe Dispenza, by the way. Every time we recall the event or think about getting justice or revenge, or that person getting theirs, or feel the resentment and the bitterness, we are washing our whole entire body again with the chemicals of the trauma. You don't want the chemicals of the trauma, trust me, because every time they go around, you're, you're, you're bathing in the adrenaline again. You're bathing in the adrenaline again. You are, you are poisoning yourself. So you need to release it. Everybody, we're gonna do the Ardeo practice together um, for Tamaria, I know Hope loves the, the Rodeo, the Ardeo practice. So let's all do this together. Get yourself in a place where you can pay attention. If you're driving, maybe pull off to the side of the road. Put down whatever you're doing and pay attention. Let's all do this together so we can clear our nervous systems, okay? So you're going to find in your body 
where the tension is, because tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, I guarantee you, you've got tension in your body right now. So wherever it is, your shoulders, your neck, is your head hurting, are your arms tight, whatever. So just relax your body now. Relax your entire body now. Relax your entire body now. Relax your entire body now. Just imagine there's like warm oil going through your muscles. And so it's just like, ah. Oh. Like you're getting an inner muscle massage to where there's no more tension in your body. Ah, yes. And you, now do another scan for tension. Okay, there's a little more. Complete, complete relaxation. Complete, complete relaxation. Ah. One more scan through, any more tension. So the number one thing, the R for the Ardeo practice is relax. Anytime your body is tense, you're on your way to problems. Keeping our body relaxed, it's the first step to no pain and no disease, okay? So pay attention, relaxing your body completely. Do you guys hear, feel the hush right now? Absolute hush. And now that we are relaxed, our body is relaxed, we are going to surrender. And sometimes you need to, sur you need to surrender and relax at the same, that's the R is both surrender and relaxed. You're gonna surrender this event, Tamaria. You're gonna surrender this event, surrender, this event, surrender this event. You're gonna to surrender to Mother Earth. You're gonna to surrender to God. You're gonna to surrender to Jesus, Mother, Buddha, Allah, Muhammad, Shiva, whatever, source, force, whatever you wanna call it. The thing that's bigger than us, or your creator. You're gonna surrender it to that. Because it's not yours to carry. It is not yours to carry. You cannot carry this. It will kill you. It will give you heart disease and cancer. And you're the ones who's going to suffer. The person who did the act to you is not going to suffer at all. When we hold on to it, if we don't continually surrender, continually surrender this event, if we hold on to it in any fiber of our body, we're gonna get sick, okay? Especially the Earth Angel Nation, we are so sensitive. Our nervous system is so sensitive. We must care for ourselves like a fragile antique lace garment. You wouldn't throw that in the washing machine. You would delicately just gently swish it in the water with gentle, gentle soap. And you would just, after you rinsed it, just gently squeeze it and then lay it out very carefully. That's our nervous system. We need to take, we need to care so much for our nervous systems. Those of us who are ultra sensitives. This here is a miracle worker for our central nervous system, celery juice. By itself, no water, no ice, no honey, no fruit, just celery juice. So scan yourself right now for any body tension and surrender all of these burdens, all of these things that have happened to us, which are blessings, I'm sorry, blessings. They are blessings because they have made you who you are. They have made me who I am. They have made me ultra sensitive so I can sense the same things in other people and I can send them love and blessings. I can pray healing on them as well. So surrender all of those things that have happened to us, all the injustices, all the lies, all the bullshit, all the judgment, all the anger, all the hatred toward us. 
we just let it go. We just let it go. Don't let it stay in your cells. Do not let it stay in your cells. Surrender it. Surrender it. I just see like uh, like uh, at my gut, like like it just goes out. Like, And it's funny. I see it white when it comes out. Like a trap door. See a trap door at the bottom of your intestines or the bottom of your torso. Like you just pull the trap door and it just all goes, 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 goes. Okay. Let it go out, let it go out, let it go out. Just every, okay, now go and do another sweep. Any any tension in your body, anything else in your mind, just re, just release it. And maybe you, if for your mind, you can see a trap door in the back of your head and it just all goes out, okay? You're not meant to hold on to it, you guys. When um, I kept the little knife that I cut my hand with, it was the, the, the event that, caused me to realize that my ex-husband didn't love me and I left him. I kept that knife for a long time so that I would remember. And then at some point I threw it away because why would I remember? I want to go on with my life. I want to go forward. 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 I want to leave the past behind. I want to honor the past, but I want to leave it behind. Okay. So we're just letting go of everything. It's big trap doors. Anything that is not serving us, out, 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 out. And then God will show you what you need to do later. You don't need to hold on to it. I used to think I had to hold on to the memory so that I would remember that if I got around an abusive person again, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be so stupid. I wouldn't be so gullible. I wouldn't be so open-hearted. I go, oh, you're dangerous, so I'm getting out of here. So I used to think that I would have to remember, but it turns out you don't. Because if you tune into your body, your body will tell you, danger, 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 get away, get away, get away. You'll feel it by the flutter in your stomach. You'll feel it by the sick feeling that washes over you. This is why it's so important that we get the adrenaline out of our body. We get the caffeine out of our body. We get the processed foods, the sugars, the flowers out of our body, which... Um, actually covers our third eye, our pituitary, is it pineal gland? Covers the pineal gland so that we can't, that's why it's so promoted, you guys, because if, if women especially can get numbed and dulled, then we're not in our power, we're not in our intuition, and we're not here serving our purpose on the planet, especially at this time. So when you understand all the promotions with chocolate, all the promotions with alcohol, all the promotions with um, uh, cookies, cakes, candy bars, breads. If you looked at my refrigerator or my freezer, you would laugh. All that's in there is vegetables. And my freezer is only frozen fruit and frozen peas. It's all I eat. And my, my system, I'm coming more and more and more online the more I clean and 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 deeply, deeply, deeply clean the inside of my body. I get more and more and more intuitive, more and more and more sensitive. Georgia, you asked me how I know it's this. I take my body very, very seriously. And doesn't mean I don't go off once in a while. I got a tiramisu, two tiramisus this week. But I mean, I'm so much better. I used to eat like 14 candy bars at a time because that was the hit I needed for all the pain that I was in. So all this pain, we're just gonna let it go, 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 let it go. It's not ours to carry. It was ours to experience, and now we release. If it doesn't feel good, do not replay it in your mind. If it doesn't feel good, do not replay it in your mind. We can just surrender it to the angels to please show us if there's something that we need to know, and you will have the knowing. Does that make sense? So that's the R part of the R Deo practice. You're going to re relax your body. Maybe I should say release and surrender. That would make the R be there. <laughs> the R for the surrender, but you're going to surrender, just surrender, just surrender. This happened to me. I'm going to let it go. It's not mine to carry. God, 
Thank you for bringing it to me because there is a powerful reason that it came to me. It's making me more of who I am so I can be of greater service on the planet. And now you take it back. You take it. I lived it. You take it now. This is not for me to carry any longer. Surrender it all. Surrender it all. Do another check for your body. Anything else need relaxing? Okay. Like real time, I noticed my left neck was tense. I checked in. What is it? I'm worried what you guys are going to think of me for, because of all the things I've said. And I just released it because that's bullshit. I, I honestly don't care what you guys think about what I say. On a human level, I do, but not on a soul level, I don't, because I am surely in service. So, and it isn't that I don't care, it's that I care more about my soul, and nothing is going to be strong enough to keep me from sharing what comes through me to share. What is my soul's calling? Nothing is going to be surpassing that. So, it, it's, it's not that I don't care, it's that I care more about my my soul's calling, right? So yes, it hurts when people don't love us. Yes, it hurts when we get rejected. Yes, it hurts when we're criticized and rejected, but it's not enough to hold us back from our soul's calling. You guys hearing me loud and clear? Okay. <clears throat> and Georgia, by the way, if you see anything in me that you like here's the, the the cool thing it means it's in you you're just noticing it in me because it's also in you you wouldn't you wouldn't even see it in me if it wasn't in you okay so is everything surrendered everything surrendered so anytime your body gets tense it means you're holding on to something that you shouldn't be holding on to. Obviously, because if we were to carry it, if we were equipped to carry it, it wouldn't hurt. Yeah? All right, so now we're gonna do the Deo practice. Thanks so much for all the hearts and the likes, you guys. Um, so now we're gonna do, do the Deo. Now that we've done that, and it, it can be a continual process throughout the day, like, Juniper is stopping the ruminating, the mental loops. It's, it takes that. When I first started this, you guys, I had to do it constantly, 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 constantly. Stay very aware of how your body is feeling. Alcohol, caffeine, sugar, flour, Cakes, cookies, preservatives, chocolate, all numb our sensitivities. Antidepressants, I'm not dissing you if you're on them. I was on Zoloft for 18 years till I finally broke free. It's all, the purpose of all of it and why it's so widely promoted is because it dulls our senses, it dulls our, our nervous system. It dulls, it dulls, it dulls. So we are only living on two pistons of a huge engine. Okay, so coming out of those things one by one or all at once, whatever you need to do is huge. I don't even crave bullshit anymore. And I'm getting so in tune. <laughs> it's getting completely cleaned. And then the, the heavy metal in my body is coming out. So I'm getting more and more and more and more healthy and more and more and more lighters. And then the, the patches are just bringing more and more light into my body. The patches are only light, by the way, you guys. Those of you who are into light. Okay, now the Deo practice. That was the R part. Now Deo is holding the deliberate intent, deliberate intent of ease. 
Ease is the opposite of struggle. Ease is the opposite of suffering. Ease, the deliberate intent of ease. So just feel that. I used to like to just feel floating in the stream of well-being on my back. Just ease, ease, ease. Being supported by Mother Earth, being supported by the air, being supported by love. Ease. Just feel basking in ease. Ease. And now the O is open-heartedness. The deliberate intent of ease and open-heartedness. The deliberate intent of ease and open-heartedness. And if it doesn't feel like ease, get out of it as soon as you can. Hear the cardinal right now? If Vicki were here, she would say that, oh, it's not a cardinal. It's these little... <laughs> These little adorable fat birds. Oh, you guys hear it? Hi, thank you for joining us. See, this energy attracts beauty, you guys. When we are in this energy, no harm can come to us. Do you understand that? When we are in this, that's why the power that's in us is stronger than the power of the world. Jesus said us, the power that is within us is stronger than the power of the world. <laughs> only good, only good and beauty can come to us when we are in this space. That's why we don't need to worry. <sighs> we don't need to worry. This is a hundred times, a million times stronger than something that doesn't feel good. You are in this, you are in such bliss and such peace. That nothing can touch you. What we have to watch for is when things come into our mind. Oh, that's stupid. You should get with the program. Don't you care what's happening to other people in the world? Oh, you better tune into the news because you better be informed. And none of that's true. You don't have to be informed. If it's important, God will bring it to your attention. That's all I depend on now. Because if something does not feel good, it is not good. If something does not feel good, it is not good. Only, only, only beauty and what feels good. Only beauty and what feels good. Only beauty and what feels good. Pleasure, pleasure. And try to move your pleasure away from putting sugar and refined carbohydrates in your body. Try to go away from that. You need to pleasure yourself, hook up with your husband, hook up with your boyfriend. Pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. Pleasure of soaking in a bath. Pleasure of me going for a walk with my weights. I'm feeling so much pleasure now that I'm getting my strength back from walking, okay? So pleasure, 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 pleasure. Does it feel good? It is good. Do you love it? It's fabulous. Does it make you feel happy? Then it's really good. Does it make you feel good to speak it? Then say it. Does it make you feel good to hear it? Then listen to it. And the more you are conditioning yourself to that, when something off comes along, you're, it's like, and you're like, whoa. Okay, I'm just moving over here, sending you blessings, sending you love. We never fight against anything, okay? We never fight against, because whatever we send energy to expands. <clears throat> whatever we focus on expands. This is quantum theory 101. Whatever we focus on expands. 
So when I'm walking and I see the big oak trees just showering me with love, I'm like, yes, 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 yes. I'm bathing myself in all of the love coming from everything, the dogs that are barking, they're saying hello. Their, tail, their wagging tail is the giveaway. There are all this, there's nothing but love. There's nothing but love. There's nothing but love. There's only love. There's only the stream of well-being. Everything else is what we've gotten off into and it's gotten our attention. Our job is to bring our attention back to the sun, back to the center, back to our heart, back to what feels good. Whatever is good, whatever is happy, whatever is of good report, think on these things. It's in the Bible. Think on these things. Think on these things. Oh, that's the Ardeo practice. Open-hearted. You cannot be in fear and be open-hearted. Impossible. You cannot be in fear and be open-hearted. Ardeo. 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 Deliberate intense intent of ease and open-hearted. Just start proclaiming, my life is filled with ease. My life is so easy. My life is so easy. My life is so easy and filled with so much fun and so much love. I have more time and love and energy than I know what to do with. Start making that our mantra. Okay, I'm gonna catch up on the com comments a little bit. So that's our Deo. Uh, so true, Lorraine, a huge, I was huge people pleaser, yes. Detachment practices, yes, Denise. Rosetta, thank you, Denise, yes. Verna's here, Juniper. Yes, thank you for the, these reminders. Yes, you're welcome, Juniper. Um, Denise, five days of fasting from people. Review our circumstances. Going to retreat within. Um, un, get out of groups that don't feel good. I never scroll social media. I never scroll social media. I never scroll social media. I use Facebook only for this and for my two groups, my business page and my two groups. That's all I use social media for, period. To put this message out of light and love. That's all I use social media for. I don't listen to anything else. Uh, so yes, that would be wonderful, Denise. Your gift is amazing, Lorraine. Thank you, Rosetta. As I scratch my nose, I'm not picking it. Thank you, Rosetta. And yours is too, Rosetta. And yours is too, Georgia. And yours is too, Tamaria. And yours is too, Juniper. And yours is too, Verna. And yours is too, Darcy. And yours is too, Do uh, did I say Donna? Denise. And yours is too, Janine, who's probably gonna watch the replay. And yours is too, Kelly, who's probably gonna watch the replay. And yours is too, whoever else I forgot. Did I say Rosetta? Yeah, I did. Well, negative people away. Yeah, Denise says, well them away. Yes. Tamaria, you're right. Denise, be a survivor. Justice takes place in many ways, however detached from the energy. Very good, Denise. Here's the thing. If you even send them love, do you understand the heaps of coal that are gonna be on their head? <laughs> the heaps of coal. Okay. It's not our job. It's not our job. It's not our job. Our job is to experience it, let it go through us, and then get back to love. And the soonest we can bless the people who hurt us, the more healed we will be. That is our job as the Earth Angel Nation. It is the way out. It is liberation. And I've still got the card here. I still don't know what it is, but I'm going to be reading it in a minute. Um, be a survivor. Justice takes place. Yeah. Vindication is mine, saith the Lord. Vindication is mine, saith the Lord. We don't get in there and defend ourselves unless you're strongly being called to do that. That vindication is mine. That means we stay out of it. God takes care of that. And truth, my son and I were just talking about this. Truth is like a cork underwater. As soon as you 
You can hold it down so it can't be seen, but as soon as you take your hand off, it goes right back up. Truth is on a mission to be, to be found out. Truth is on a mission to be seen. We don't have to worry. Verna, hi, haven't been here, been super busy. My husband had a car, oh my God, surgery. Oh, honey, it's just sending healing to him. Right now, everybody, let's just send healing to Verna's husband. Oh, God. I'm going right into his bones and his organs. Sending healing light to every injury, every little injury and all the trauma to the body. Just sending healing, 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 healing. Wow, there's so much energy. My hands are vibrating, you guys. Verna, thank you for sharing. Yes, 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 yes. Whoa. Yes, 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 yes. Light and love, light and love, light and love. Every single cell of his body, I'm feeling it. I'm I'm in his body. It's all illuminated, all healing. You're gonna see his healing. Uh, come faster now, Verna. Oh, thank you for joining us, uh, Verna. Very, very, very good. Hari! Hari in India. Now we have the India in the house. Brazil, Philippines, Australia, London, uh, and now India and Canada with... Oh, thank you so much, Hari. Hari says, I'm looking fresh today. Thank you, beautiful. Love you. Coretta! Coretta's here. Uh, I finally have some Wi-Fi. I have been doing what you're talking about. Big changes. I'm so happy for you, Coretta. Coretta, wow, I really need to hear this. I'm glad I made it. Yes, that's what I'm trying to do. You guys, I'm not saying this to be on an ego trip, but you need to listen up to what I'm going to say right now. Take a deep breath. Every day that you don't show up here, you're depleting yourself. And this is not about me. This is about the Earth Angel Nation. Every day that you don't show up here, or at least watch the replay, if you can't be here live, you are, you are robbing yourself of the healing that is here for you. That's why I do this every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And the angels have instructed me. They talked in my ear and said, why don't you do a live stream on Monday, Wednesday, Friday? Oh, okay. I'm not doing this because, uh, you know, I'll become popular. I'm not doing this because it'll make me Facebook famous. Mm -mm. I'm doing this because I have a great big mission. And the angels told me to. No, they invited me to. They did not tell me. They invited me to. Happened in my apartment, in my shitty apartment, probably over a year ago. I've been doing them for three years. I think it'll be four years. It'll be four years in November. I will have been doing these for four years in November. And um, sometimes they're daily. If there's something really intense going on in the world, I'll be here daily just to, uh, as like a prayer vigil. And then I start to, my physical body starts to burn out and I have to back off. And that's why I've settled with Monday, Wednesday, Friday now. Um, and that's why I have to be very sensitive to my energy so I don't burn out. But I was in my closet <clears throat> and the angels just were right here and just whispered in my ear. I can hear it right now. Why don't you do a, well, it was a daily pray, prayer vigil then. Okay, why don't you do a daily prayer vigil? And I was on here every single day, seven days a week. We were praying. We were holding the energy for the planet. I think when the first COVID bullshit started showing up. So I'm not saying that for me. I'm not saying that so you'll come here and you'll think I'm so great. That's not why I'm doing it. I'm doing it because I, I know what happens when people show up here every single time without fail. Because I do. I show up here every single time without fail. And I keep growing and I keep expanding and I keep 
getting lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter. I keep my energy high and clear. So this is your invitation to make this a recurring event, make this a commitment to yourself. I don't care how early it is. My sister's usually here. She wakes up at 4.45 a.m. And sometimes she falls back to sleep with me like I know some of you Aussies do, especially when I go long, because I know it's after nine right now. Um, just get the energy into you every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, because it's enough to carry you over to Wednesday, enough to carry you into Friday, enough to carry you through the weekend. And then you continue the work and you watch this replay over and over again if you need to. This is what's helped me is I have my mentors that I pay really close attention to, like Dr. Joe Dispenza and um, my my mentor that I pay for. And uh, I'm, I'm uh, always listening. Abraham, I'm always listening. I'm always listening. I'm always listening. I'm always listening. Okay. I won't let anything bring my energy down. So if you are, if you make a commitment to yourself to show up here every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern and you put it in your <clears throat> calendar as a recurring event and you set your alarm for 15 minutes before whatever time that is for you in the world and you keep that promise to yourself, your life will change. You will transform. Your body will become lighter and lighter. Your diseases will heal. Your ailments will heal, especially as I take you on my healing journeys and I talk to you about the crucial things that I'm doing. I'm a, I'm a pioneer, you guys. I'm, I'm hacking through the jungle to get you back to health as I get myself back to health. So here's your invitation to just make that commitment to you, okay? And the other thing would be to share this with anybody else you know who is an earth angel who needs to get restored. I would venture to say anyone who's depressed is an earth angel. Anyone who's depressed is an earth angel because we are such idealists. We believe so big in the things that we see. And then when it doesn't happen, our hopes get dashed. When people diss us, we take it so personally. We are so sensitive. We are the ultra sensitives. I like to use that instead of highly sensitive people. I like to say ultra sensitive. We are ultra sensitives. You get how beautiful that is? We are ultra sensitives. We must cherish our nervous system like that antique lace fabric, okay? Careful, careful, careful. So those two things, show up here every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and share this with anyone you know needs to be here, okay? Um, yes, I'm so proud of you, Coretta, for letting all that go. Good morning to all. Yes, I'm letting go. Tamaria, yes. Um, hope loud and clear. Yes, girlfriend. Coretta, I hear you on that big time. My son is judging me for making my move. I can't believe they can attack you on the internet. Mm, I'm sorry, honey. Rosetta, I surrender all my worries. Thank you, Lorraine. You're welcome, Rosetta. Mary! I'm in a huge letting go process, not easy, but worth it. And Mary, I'm really seeing you come around. See, a lot of you on here have been working with me for years. And so I know your progress and I see where you've come, um, you know, with either here or in my paid, mostly my paid programs, because most of you here have been in my paid programs. Um, and there is more exciting stuff to come, you guys. Coretta, I have some, have come to a big stop and surrounded myself by... And surrounded by my feelings, surrendered everything to move to the next province. I'm so proud of you, Coretta. Coretta. Huge, 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 huge honoring your soul's calling. Do not let yourself get bullied by people, even if they're your own family, especially if they're, they're your own family. And try my best to do what I could to move forward and let go. It is a, it is challenging. We do our ups and we do have our ups and downs. I need to have our cries because yes, anytime you feel like you need to cry, cry because it damages you if you don't. Um, I need to have our ones cries because I'm going through that right now. What I'm believing 
in that things are worth it now. Yes, Coretta. You get a star. I hope I can get a reading today. I have baller knees. I am fighting the arthritis and not going to give up. Yeah, um, there's a lot I have for you on that, Coretta. That's why I got up this morning so I could get back on track. Very, very, very good. Here's the thing I want you guys to hear. Universe never derides you. Universe never talks in the negative. It's always, why don't you do that? That's why the angel said, why don't you do a Light and Love Wednesday to add to Fairy Godmother Monday and Body Talk Friday? It's always the affirmative. It's always do this, do this. Why don't you do this? This might be fun. It's never, you got off track. It's never. So anytime we come back, that's how universe sees is that we came back on track. So bravo. Darcy, hope you have a wonderful weekend, Lorraine. This Sunday is my son's. <laughs> You've had so many birthdays, and right? They've just been birthdays, right? It seems like there's been four. Yours, your husband's. Maybe it was just that your son came to your, your husband's birthday party, but wow, happy birthday to your son. Karen, yes, Coretta, I've been enjoying my stay, even though it has been a struggle. My daughter was not going the right things. She's 114. So your daughter's 14 and she's not doing the right things. Daphne, my days are harmonious and serene. I praise and sing and laugh. Yes, 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 yes. So what do we want our life to be like? Let's declare it. Let's act as if until we are. Okay, why not? We did that when we were little kids. We weren't big enough to fit in our mom's shoes, mom's high heels and dresses when we dressed up. Remember how fun that was? We had it then. Verna, I have been doing white light healing and Mother Earth, yes! Coretta, yes, in one of them, I, I told everyone I need to go recollect myself. And Lorraine, you always have my back. I'll watch and rewatch. Yes, yes, yes. You guys know I do. I know what it's like, you guys. I know what it's like. And I happen to have, and I'm very honored to say this, I happen to have a large American Indian and native. I have a large native um, population that gravitates to me, indigenous people. Um, Denise, Penny, Penny Crunin in, in Canada, Coretta in Canada. Rosetta, so glad that I get to listen to the replays if I miss your live sessions, Lorraine. Yes. Can you say hello to my three-year-old granddaughter? She wants you to say hello to her. name is Amiria. Amira. Um, Amira. Amira. Hi, Amira. How are you, sweetheart? So good to see you. Hi, this is your Auntie Lorraine. So good to see you, honey. Sending you so much love, Amira. Mwah. You precious, precious, precious girl. <sighs> yes, 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 yes. Mm. Love you, Amira. Love you so much, Coretta. I've been worried about you lately. I shouldn't say I've been worried about you. I've just uh, been, and let's put it this way. I've been anticipating you coming back. Let's just put it that way. Rosetta, Mother Earth, keep your vibration high and clear. This is the whole thing, you guys. I was given that whenever I started my Facebook page. Keep your energy high and clear. Keep our energy high and clear. Keep our energy high and clear. It doesn't mean we bypass the pain. It means we let the pain go through us. But we get back to having our energy high and clear ASAP. Because otherwise, we're the ones that fall in the mud and drown. <clears throat> because we're so down and are we good to anybody there? Oh, hell no. We are only good. And that's what we want to do more than anything is help, right? We are only good when our energy is high and clear. That's it. That's it. Was that a hello, Amira? Daphne Coretta, hello. Good morning. Um, Friday Bliss. I am retreating, journaling. Uh, letter writing, designing inspirational cards and booklets, motivational affirmations. While I have my frankincense and myrrh burning throughout my room, ooh, I am blessed to have such an awesome fairy godmother. I am lighter and brighter. I am ultra sensitive. Yes, here's the thing, you guys. We are like rare, 
precious beings, you guys. The ultra-sensitive Earth Angel Nation. We are like rare, precious jewels to be cared for. And I want, that's why the Three Keys to Self-Love, the offer I have now at threekeystoselflove.com is so important. You're going to be on your way to the inner workings of my work. The Three Keys to Self-Love.com. Don't rip yourself off by not getting that. Go to Three Keys to Self-Love.com and get the offer that I have right now. It's $27 for about $400 worth of stuff. And it's it's uh, got a training. Uh, the Three Keys to Self-Love training, the Three Keys to Self-Love ebook that's about 25 pages. I go into my own personal story there a lot. Um, you get a worksheet. You have my 90-minute healing meditation. It is amazing for only $27. I, I wouldn't hesitate a minute. Go there to threekeys2selflove.com. I'm going to put it in the comments. Three keys to selflove.com and grab it. Uh, yes, Juniper, we are blessed to have you demonstrating love and light. Thank you, Juniper. <laughs> Do you know how much that makes me feel good? Because I would be, my sister finally woke up. Um, I would be doing this anyway for years in the middle of the night when I couldn't sleep, when I lived in Santa Cruz, when I lived in Aptos, California, in Santa Cruz County, I couldn't sleep in the middle of the night because I would feel the energies and I would just lay in bed and I would just send light and love uh, to my area and then across the hill to San Jose. And then I would, I would sweep it across California, then I'd sweep it across the US, then I'd sweep it over the oceans, and then I'd sweep it around the planet. I've been doing this for 26 years. I would be doing it anyway, and it's just so, I'm so honored that you guys are here with me. Janine's listening on her way to work. Bless you, my sister. Coretta, thank you. Uh, I love crying to release. I love to smile afterwards. Women uh, got issues, but not enough tissues. Daphne, fake it till you make it. Yeah, and it's a little bit different than fake it till you make it because fake it till you make it is like, Hur. you know, it's kind of like masculine energy. It is actually embodying the thing that you desire, embodying the thing that you desire, embodying the thing that you desire, which is a very feminine thing. We are bringing it in. We are incorporating it into ourselves. We, I have signs all over my house reminding me of my vision, of where I'm heading, my vision beyond the vision, okay? And Henry David Thoreau said 150 years ago, if one advances confidently in the direction that he has imagined, he will meet with successes uncommon in common hours. I slaughtered that, but we all we need to do is live the life that we imagine. That's all we have to do. And then Abraham says, once we have practiced that vibration long enough that there's just nothing between the, the vibration of where we're going and the thing, it just goes foomph. And there you are. And in the meantime, you're in bliss because you're you're living in the life that you imagined, which is great. So be careful what you're imagining. Juniper, kudos to you that you are no longer letting yourself go on those mental fuck up bloops. They will kill you. They will nail your, your, floor, your foot to the floor, right? No, no. You know, it keeps going around. It keeps going around. It keeps going around. It keeps going around. Oh, there that is again. Wow. Get back to, oh, no, no, no. Okay, here I go, here I go. Here it comes again, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, guys. There are a number of tools. Um, you're gonna get a lot of them in that three keys to selflove.com. I've got all, those things are packed with my tools, you guys. Packed. The tools that have saved my ass. Everything I talk to you guys about, I live and I have worked with clients for 27 years. Thousands.
thousands of people around the world I have worked with, you guys. I'm a counselor. I'm a marriage, family, and child counselor. I went to school. I did the thing. I could be a medical doctor with all the school I went through. So I've got the goods. I'm not talking to you out of my butt. I'm talking to you because I know that I know that I know, and I have seen results on thousands of people around the world but mostly in myself, because I will, I will tell you nothing and I will do nothing on here that I have not done myself or continue to do myself. There is no hypocrisy here. <laughs> I think that's why I can be a little outrageous because I'm completely authentic because what you see is what you get. Um, Juniper, remember to set your intentions for the upcoming, okay. Okay, yes, good reminder. And then we are going to do a ceremony on Monday for the new moon. Juniper says, remember to set your intentions for the upcoming new moon Sunday. This is a potent and powerful cycle, the opening of the lion's gate. Huge, 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 huge. I don't understand it completely. Um, uh, but yes, so start setting your intentions. Coretta, yes, it's, it's me making the changes. I'm so proud of you. Um, okay, I think I'm caught up. Juniper, thank you, Sistar. Yes. Coretta, Angel, Angel Bellinger at Gmail. Okay. Um, I am incorporating feminine energy and living the life I imagined. Yes, that's it, you guys. I am basking in self-love, creativity, empowerment, embracing myself, and celebrating recovery in the best way. I am free, authentic, self-unapologetic. Yes, yes, yes. I have been lifting myself every day. Coretta, I'm so proud of you. I'm so glad because I was kind of worried you were going, you were leaving. So if you make sure you're here every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern, you have nothing to worry about because this energy, the energy we create together, the momentum will feed you, feed you, feed you. It's just remembering who you are. Okay, you guys ready for the card? I drew a card. I'm gonna hold it to my chest. It's been waiting so long. Let's see what it is. Oh, okay, it's called Baby Steps. Action, follow your intuition before it makes sense. Woo, Baby Steps. Action, follow your intuitions until it makes, before it makes sense. Follow your intuition before it makes sense. These uh, pictures are just so amazing in these cards. Okay, let's see what it says, Baby Steps. Thirty-six. Inner authority, inner authority, inner authority. That is what we've been talking about all morning, inner authority. Finding the beauty in everything, Coretta, I'm so proud of you, I'm so proud of you, I'm so relieved actually. <laughs> Daphne, I am blessed to be here, woohoo, yes, and I'm blessed that you're here with me. It's normal to look at the external world for, for answers and guidance. What's revolutionary is turning your gaze inward. You're being called to source your guidance from within, to study the terrain of your inner landscape, to develop a reliable relationship with your soul. I want an absolute devastating love affair with my inner being. I want an absolute devastating love affair with me. I want to be so in love with me that I treat myself with the very, very, very best care. I honor everything that I feel. I honor everything that I'm seeing. I honor, I honor, I honor me. This is what the self-love journey is all about. To study the terrain of your inner landscapes to develop a reliable relationship with your soul. Is this what we were talking about today? The more time you spend connecting with your soul, the deeper the connection will become. Yes, can we hear it for that? The challenges for empaths is staying connected without cutting off from the world. Staying connected without cutting off from the world. We can do that because we ground to Mother Earth and because we're listening to our inner being. The best way to do this is develop a daily practice that helps you keep checking in, to draw on the wisdom within and let that be the authority in your life. 
your inner authority. If this card appears, you may be called to develop or switch up your spiritual practice, to get in the habit of turning your gaze within, getting centered for the day before consuming anything from the outside world, to start from a feeling of at-homeness and throughout each day to find simple ways to keep coming home. This doesn't mean switching off from the realities of today's world. We need as many conscious people as possible living with their eyes wide open. Wide open. Rather, it's a call to start your day from a place of connectedness, grace, and devotion. So when you go out into the world, when you let the world in, you do it from an unshakable state of being. Can I hear an amen? A state where you draw your strength, authority, and guidance from a place of deep within. Of deep, deep within. Starseed soul inquiry. How are you being called to turn your gaze within? I'm going to excuse myself for just a moment, you guys. I want to hear. I'm going to read your comments when I get back. I will be right back. Don't go away. Oh man, I had to relieve myself. <laughs> I had a quart of water and a quart of celery juice on my bladder. I'm like, woo! Ah. Oh. Okay, guys, that's great, you guys. Lorraine, you're simply the best, hon. Thank you so much. Coretta, amen. Karen, amen. Coretta, I'm right in that place now. Very good, Verna. Let's see, Juniper, wow, just wow. Karen, Coretta, hello, Karen. Inner authority, I honor me, I love my soul. Yes, 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 yes. <clears throat> love affair with yourself. Love affair with yourself. I used to be filled with self-loathing. I used to hate myself because I didn't fit in and I didn't understand why. And I was so depressed because of it that I was on 18 years of Zoloft and I wanted to kill myself. I wanted to leave the planet. <sighs> now look at me. <laughs> I'm so, it started uh, in 10, 2013 was when I uh, started the self-love journey. And that's when I wrote the Women's Self-Love Journey program that we still study to this day. We go through a module every other week on a live video call and we have a discussion around it and it's so rich. We had one yesterday and it was so rich. Inner authority, I love me, to love my soul, sending hugs and kisses myself, yes, getting centered. Don't look for any love outside of yourself. Do not look for any love outside of yourself. Do not look for any love outside of yourself. It's a trap and you will wind up never being happy because a person will always disappoint you. A person will always disappoint you. They can't not. They're here to serve themselves, not you. It's unrealistic. Um, let's see, Daphne, inner authority, sending hugs and kisses. Myself, getting centered in the morning. Start my day with rituals and spiritual routines. Yes, cover myself 
Shield my heart before I step out into the world. Home is my sanctuary. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, Juniper, all that liquid flushing out toxins. Yeah, especially that. It was uh, uh, a quart of filtered water with a whole lemon squeezed into it and some raw honey and then a whole quart of organic celery juice. So big flush. <laughs> flushing my liver, you guys. Your liver. Love your liver. Put your hands on your liver right now. It's right here on the right side of your body under your rib cage. Your liver is the thing that's keeping you alive, you guys. And we've got to do everything we can to care for it and love it so that it can continue to serve us. Coretta, hey girl, you guys, I love it when you guys talk to each other. Okay, so tune into your body. What does your body need from you this weekend to um, restore and rejuvenate? What does your body need from you this weekend to restore and rejuvenate? <clears throat> The Starseed Oracle deck. Isn't that awesome? Love it. The Starseed Oracle deck. Daphne, wow, big flush. Have You are good for the day. Yeah, and it just continues. Then I'm going to have my a heavy metal detox smoothie. <clears throat> and then I'm going to have apples. And I'll probably have some steamed potatoes later on into the day. And then maybe a big salad at dinner. That's my life. And then I eat... I drink maybe one to two quarts more of that filtered water with the lemon and the honey in it. That's my life, you guys. That's how I eat. That's how I eat. <laughs> That's why my energy is so high and clear. Okay, guys, this has been amazing. I have no idea what time it is. It feels like it's like 930. We've been going for 90 minutes. <laughs> so exciting. I love you. I love you. I love you. I see you. I see you. I see you. I see who you are, I know who you are, I know who you are. If you are in this community, if you show up here, even if you're not here today, people cycle in and cycle out, okay? Um, as you show up here, if you show up here, you are a powerful, powerful, powerful light being. Because if you weren't, you wouldn't be able to handle this energy. Let's send this energy all the way out to the planet right now. May all beings be blessed. 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 Light and love on every one of the 8 billion hearts of the humans. Light and love on every of uh, the hearts of all the animals. Light and love on all the uh, bodies of the insects. Light and love on every blade of grass, on every plant. Light and love into every molecule of water. Every waterway. Love, 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 love. Why do we do this? Because it feels good. It feels good, right? Because it's your calling. Light and love, 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 light and love. I say yes to me and my desires. You are so powerful if you show up here. I am releasing you into your power right now. I am releasing you into your power and your fullness right now. Sisters, brothers, Hari, Rike, Fairy dust. I'm sprinkling fairy dust. I saw sparkles come off of me um, two days ago in Walmart. As I, was, as I was leaving, there was sparkles. As I walked, there were sparkles. There was a sparkle trail <laughs> being left. We infect every place we go as we keep our energy high and clear. Just like uh, sickness can, can permeate our light and love and is an infection. You walk into a place with your energy high and clear and your heart open. You've done the Ardeo, your heart is open and you just spew sparkles everywhere you go. Every smile, every compliment, 
It's all coming together, you guys. It's all coming together. Put your hands on your heart and say, I call all parts of myself back home now. I call all parts of myself back home now. I call all parts of myself back home now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I call all parts of myself back home now. I call all parts of myself back home now. I call all parts of myself back home now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's why John the Baptist only ate locusts and wild honey. I just got a message on that. It was because it was so pure, to keep him pure, because he prepared the way for the Lord. He had to be a clear channel. <laughs> Daphne, love you, fairy godmother. I felt your sparkles. I feel like Cinderella beautiful. Yes, 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 yes. And Cinderella had to work, right? They didn't just go plink. No, she had to get the pumpkin. She had to get the mice. She had to get the dress fixed. She had to, you know, find the dress to fix. So I put you to work because it's there is no like... But you know what? The more you do this, you guys, the easier it does get. The easier it gets, the easier it gets, the easier it gets, the easier it gets. The better it gets, the better it gets, the better it gets, the better it gets. The lighter it gets, the lighter it gets, the lighter it gets, the lighter it gets. And here's the thing. You go forward. You may fall back a little bit, but you never lose ground. You, It's maybe two steps forward, one step back. Two steps forward, one and a half steps back. Three steps forward, two and a half steps back, but you keep going forward because you are a light being. This is the way it goes. It's like our dance. It's our dance of life, okay? And when we fall back, it's only because we lost belief in ourselves. No other reason. We listen to the lie again, and that's how it goes. What does your body need from you this weekend? What does your body need from you this weekend? Janine, my heart is so open. The best feel good is feeling good about nothing at all. To feel good, just to feel good. Janine, 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 Janine. Those of you who don't know, Janine is my blood sister. You have fucking woken up, bitch. You have woken up. I didn't mean that bitch in a bad way. <laughs> you have woken up, girl. Oh, I, you know, there's nothing better, you guys, than to, here's what happens. You hold the light, your family starts coming in. You hold the light, you're the first. Your family starts coming in as you don't compromise, as you don't whore yourself out, as you don't prostitute your soul by bending over backwards and bending over forwards for all the people who wanna fuck you over. You say, uh-uh, I am a sovereign nation. I pledge allegiance to myself. I am a sovereign nation. Put your hands on your heart right now. I pledge allegiance to myself. I am a sovereign nation. As you stand in that and your glow gets stronger and stronger and stronger, Karen, your family's going to start noticing. It might take years. It, I started this journey 25 years ago. No, 25 years ago, yeah. And my family started coming in, started awakening. But it took years. <laughs> but I had a blast on the way. Janine, I'm so, I cannot tell you how amazing that feels, you guys. My little sister is just as far in the light journey as me, if not ahead of me sometimes. It's, the Bible says the first shall be last and the last shall be first. It doesn't matter when you jump in. You can just jump in and you can, you can surpass me. Do you get it? Do you get it? Coretta. Love you all. Respectfully, Coretta. She's so beautiful. Daphne, say yes to the dress. <laughs> yes. You have a blast weekend, Lorraine. Thank you, honey. I will. Yes. Yay. Awesomeness, Janine. Yahoo. Hoo. Daphne, you woke. Janine, alleluia. Yes. Thanks, Lorraine. You're welcome, Karen. My body wants for me this weekend to 
Stay in tune so I can be strong and be a light. We're going to be doing construction on my son's house. There are going to be a bunch of guys there. I'm going to be cleaning and cooking, cooking for them so that they can keep working. And uh, guess what? I'm not doing it because I have to. I'm doing it because I want to. Every fiber of my being wants to support my son who is waking up. But you guys know what I went through with him last year. Those of you who don't, <laughs> we're not going into it. It's just over now. I want to be a support to that man because his heart is so good. <laughs> and it doesn't matter what happened. Let's see, who was saying they had that? Was it uh, Tamaria? It doesn't matter what happened. It's over. I'm on top now. Not on top like a competition, but I mean... It's all coming around, it's all coming around, it's all coming around. So I want to do all this work this weekend. My body wants to stay in tune to continue for myself. I love it, Coretta. Yes, it's all over and it made us who we are, you guys. There's a reason, there's a reason. Maybe you're meant to help people who have had similar experiences. Who knows? So my body wants me to just stay in tune and just let the energy flow through me. Not let it get hung up on mental thoughts. Just let it, just be a giving, loving being of light. Just be a giving, loving being of light. Just be a giving, loving being of light. Being of light, being of light, being of light, being of light. Whew. This has been a blast, you guys. Thank you for hanging in with me today. This has been so good. Let's let our life be easy. That was easy. Let's let our life be easy. How good can we let it get? How easy can we let it get? How breezy can we, how much abundance of money and wealth can we let into our life? How much abundance of love and emotional prosperity can we let come in? I'm honored that you were here with me today. I feel like I took you through a movie. I feel like I, we went on an odyssey today together. We did, actually. We journeyed through space and time and up into the upper ethers. I will see you on Monday, if not before. For more of my work, go to 3keys2selflove.com, the number three. Keys like you put in your car, to selflovecom and get the thing I'm offering there, the self-love inner peace bundle. The self-love inner peace bundle. It's going to be so good. I'm going to put it in the comments again. Three keys to selflove.com. Go there. Get what's up there. Karen, thank you all, sister friends. Yes, yes, yes. Daphne, yes, it finally is we are healed whole lacking nothing i feel you this morning abundantly yes 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 um thank you for my best friday lately <laughs> you're welcome coretta okay loves i will see you monday if not before for fairy godmother monday let your friends know um fairy godmother monday i still got my crystals out from thursday here's my crystal ball i am your fairy godmother 27 years as a counselor and a coach, marriage, family, and child counselor. Um, I've earned fairy godmother status. I'll show you how to make your own dreams come true in the quantum field of all possibilities. Where's my other crystal wand? There it is. I show you how to make your own dreams come true in the quantum field of all possibilities. It's a blast. We actually go into the quantum field together. We spend time in your desire. We spend time in your dream and um, Wednesday is light and love Wednesday where we get our energy high and clear and then we send this, we bathe the planet with light and love energy. And then Friday we come back and we minister to our bodies with Body Talk Friday. It's the perfect triad, you guys, it's the perfect triad. It's a perfect triad, triad for the Earth Angel Nation. Daphne, I am Cinderella, yes. Uh, Coretta, love you, Lori, and the gang. I love you too, Coretta, sweetheart. How does it get better than this? Ask, ask these three questions this weekend. 
How does it get better than this? How does it get better than this? Write these three questions down. How does it get better than this? That question can work if things are really rough and if things are really good, because you want more if it's good, and if it's rough, you want it to get better. So how does it get better than this? Second question, what's good about this that I am not seeing? What's good about this that I am not seeing? What's good about this that I am not seeing? I'm gonna write these questions down for me too. How does it get better than this? So this is what I do. I write these things all over my house to remind me. Next one. What's good about this that I am not seeing? What's good about this that I am not seeing? Next question. Next question. What's good about me that I am not seeing? What's good about me that I am not seeing? Next question. How can this be easy? How can this be easy? You ask these four questions on continual basis, you are inviting universe to show you the answers to these four questions. I added how, what's good about me that I'm not seeing. These four questions, I know it's backwards for you guys. So I'm gonna tape these to my kitchen cupboard. <laughs> you ask these questions continually. Yes, Juniper, allowing my good to manifest. Healed enough. Let's do this. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, my babes. I will see you on Monday for Fairy Godmother Monday. Be sure, do what Juniper said. Let's uh, make our intentions for the Lion's Gate for Sunday. I'm gonna make myself a big note for Sunday. Sunday. Intentions. Give okay, myself a big note, Juniper. And then we will do uh, a new moon practice on Monday. Tell your friends, your earth angel friends, you guys being earth angels, no earth angels. Coretta, I have mine up. Very good. Have a good weekend. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. You guys, this is the work. What we did today is the work. It's probably the only work we have to do, honestly. Yeah. Honestly, it's probably because the, the rest of it is, Janine says, have a fabulous weekend all. Um, it's the work. And then the rest of it's just easy because we get the desire to do something, we just do it, it's effortless. It's effortless, it's effortless. Our life can be frictionless, you guys. Love you with all my heart. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for being the highlight of my day. My highlight of this week was making it through a couple crises in pretty good shape. And, um, yeah, being here with you guys. Okay, I love you. I'll see you Monday, if not before. Blessings.